G'day YouTube, this is just a quick overview of the new Zubuntu 13.04 distribution that's come out recently. Uh, now Zubuntu of course is all about the XFCE uh, interface and uh, which is currently at 4.8 or thereabouts. Now it, as you can see when you open it up, uh, first of all the sort of the front page of the desktop if you will, it kind of looks like it has a, a gnome uh, actual shell there to actually the gnome shell but really when you click on it you'll find that it's actually more similar to gnome mate or uh, gnome classic now the reason for this is because Zubuntu or Zubuntu is uh, it's all about being a lightweight distribution really and with this of course as you can guess it's got a lot of the features that uh, the Ubuntu 13.4 has for example if we type this in a terminal, we'll find that the Linux kernel is just the same at 3.8.0, etc, etc. Now, also with this distribution is, okay, so we've got the default interface, which is XFCE, as I mentioned. Uh, it should include some Office utilities. Uh, let's have a look there, but not a great deal. Yeah, there's some of the lightweight stuff, like AB Word, that sort of thing. Uh, moving on, so that was the kernel. Now this comes in 32 or 64 bit distributions, of course. Uh, it's a very stable release. It's very stable. It, it you know it does what it needs to do. It's just you know lightweight. Uh, the package file format, of course, is .deb uh, for Debian or Ubuntu as well. And uh, its typical usage is for lightweight desktops or old school laptops, I would say. So that's pretty much uh, it in a nutshell. Also, being uh, a native XFCE uh, distribution, you'll find that when you go into the applications, you'll find uh, XFCE specific programs such as XFBurn and things of that nature. It still maintains the software uh, center Ubuntu or Ubuntu Software Center, which is pretty handy as well. Uh, I like the backdrop, how it's sort of a gradient thing and like little circles down there. It, it looks really professional actually and they've darkened this as well so that's that's quite cool to see. And of course if you hover down you will see uh, the, the docky which I just showed you. So it's got the dock as well for you know adding applications there, removing applications, that sort of thing. So that's kind of handy as well. Alright, cheers guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you have liked and uh, thanks for your time and please most of all leave a comment. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Have a good day.